Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are going to be starting two wars pretty much right away. I want to go to war with Syria, because the last time we went to war with them, we left them at 98% war score for vassalization. So if we go to war with them now, it's been, what, I think six years? They should be still around 98-99%. Um, the war score that it costs to uh, annex them is based on base tax and what buildings they have constructed. So if he's been building buildings in these four provinces in, the, in those six years, then his uh, cost to annex will have gone up. If he also has increased base, base tax, then the cost to annex will go up. However, if he hasn't been doing much, then the cost to annex should still be around 98%. We'll see. Uh, it, it could bite us in the ass. We might wind up at 101. You know, then, we, then I'll be face palming the whole time. I also want to start a war with Oman, who, just like Syria, has no allies. Oman, we are going to have to holy war and take one, two, three, four, five. We'll have to take probably four provinces from him, and then we'll vassalize him five years later, sell him all his land back, and then look how much land he has that the Ottomans have. I mean, that he has Koran that the Ottomans own. Yeah, so that means we can go to war with the Ottomans in five years after we've vassalized Oman and make them give all this land back to our vassal. That's the plan. Sounds good, huh? We might even be able to get rebels to spawn. Bedouin Arabic rebels. Because that's the um, Omani culture. Right? If we go here... Yeah, Bedouin Arabic. Just like the Mamluks, their culture is al Mizr Arabic. That's why these rebels here, al Mizr Arabic patriots, could easily flip these lands to our vassal Mamluks. So that's fantastic. We're going to try to clean up some of this Mideast over here and uh, make it pretty. Make it Venetian. Uh, the reason we're going east is because trade. Trade flows from the east in Asia west towards Venice where we collect. So the more, tr the more land that we get over here and push west, the more money we can make. Alright, we're a trade empire. Damn it. Trade comes first. Fantabulous. Fantabulous. Now we took Aden down here so that we would have a nice border with Oman. That means we should be able to declare that war like right away. Everyone come down here. We're going to invade the shit out of Oman. It's going to surprise the hell out of them. And you guys can come right up here to Judea or Sidon, whatever it's called. Sidon. Really? The rebels are in Judea now? Well, whatever. So you, who has no allies... Oh, we need to cancel access, right. He wants an alliance. This fucker wants an alliance. That is so awesome. Can we... Can we... Hey, can... Can... Can we have an alliance, Venice? No, you can't have an alliance, you dumbass. I'm here for your land. Lithuania is still beating up the Ottomans. That's awesome. That means when we go back to war with the Ottomans, they'll still be weak. Even five years later, they won't be able to re regroup everything. Cardinal lo no longer loyal to us. Ah, oh, well, we can fix that. We can fix that. We have the technology. Okay. War! Invade him like this. Invade him like that. Invade him like this. Invade him like that. In fact, why don't you do that? There you go. Yay, war! Hey, Oman. Hey, you have an ally? <gasps> Except we have a truce with Sibir. Look at that. We have a truce. Aww. Your ally can't help you. Aww. You know what? Oh, oh, we have to wait a month. I forgot we have to wait a month. <laughs> I always forget you have to wait a month between wars. Wow. That is a, a lot of units standing there. Oh, they hate us. 52 aggressive expansion. We took, we took one province. One province. We took one province. And that gave us 52 aggressive expansion. Are you shitting me? Wow. Well, let me declare war. Come on. O 
Oman entered a coalition against us. Really? Well, you're the only one in it, so that's fine. But still. We took one province for 58 aggressive expansion. 58 aggressive expansion. 58 aggressive expansion. 58. I can't believe that's 58 for one little province. A base 2 tax province. 58 aggressive expansion. 58. And they just lost their alliance with Sabir, because they called Sabir in anyway. <laughs> they had no reason to call Sabir in. Sabir had a truce. They called him in anyway. All right, let's go. You know, why don't you just go to the capital? I imagine he won't have a whole lot of defenses between here and there. I'm just guessing here. Why don't we leave that guy and that guy, and the rest of us will, do, will go. Now, Syria, I think, is still small enough to vassalize or annex. But I don't think Oman is anywhere close. Let's take a peek at what his percentages are. Yeah, 218. So it's going to be at least three wars to vassalize this guy. God. Three wars. Oh, well. Okay, leave him and him and go. Oh, come on, Spain. Leave my cardinal alone. Let my cardinals go. Really? You're gonna run away? You little pussy. Okay, no, 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 no. Just that guy. Get rid of him and him and go. Now, where's his army? Come on, there's his army. Hello? Oh, come on now, don't run away. Don't run away. There you go. Flamo, we're rolling zeros. Who cares? We get the Ottomans to like us? Is that possible? Let's work on it. I don't want them to join a coalition. That that would be a real problem if like France and you know all these other people joined a coalition all of a sudden. Bohemia, let's get their relations back up. We got our alliance with Poland. Uh, did we get rid of? We got rid of Access and Wallachia. Good. Uh, what else did we have? Nothing. Vassal, vassal, ally, 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 ally. Yeah. Poor Spain. <laughs> they didn't even lose anything in that war, and I still feel bad for them. Okay, you're running away to Liwa. Alright, well, I'll leave you and you, and everybody else can go follow him. Really? Lithuania, you white... They white-pieced! They white-pieced the Ottomans. Why? The Ottomans had no army. We destroyed everything, and you were sieging them everywhere. Lithuania was invading them everywhere. And they white-pieced. What is the point of that? At what point does the AI for Lithuania say, Hmm, my enemy has no more army. They lost some of their allies. We already pieced out some of the other people in the war. We're sieging five or six of their provinces. We've already conquered about ten of their provinces. Oh, let's just white peace out and go home. What the fuck? Is this game any good? Yeah, it's really good. It's very different from Civ, though. Very different from Civ. The hugely different game. But it's good. Fun game. Very fun game. It's far more in-depth than Civ. And the time span is much shorter than Civ. 
Yeah, Lithuania felt bad, but I'm not sure why. See, they still they still have units down here. They were sieging with all this shit. They had like they had half of this covered down here, just conquered. All of it. And they just weren't even they just went home. They're just like, eh, I'm gonna go home now. <sighs> well, whatever. Dumb AI notwithstanding. I think that was an exceptional opportunity for Lithuania that they just threw away. Lithuania go down the hole. Oh, he's gonna stand still? No, he's gonna run. Stop running! Oh, damn it, the Ottomans entered a coalition. Alright, so we're gonna have to be nice for a little while. Unless we want to fight coalition wars, which I really don't. Oof. Oh, now you're gonna stand still? Nope, he's just gonna run like a little bitch. This guy's quick. He's got forced march and a general and everything. Oh well, as long as we keep him on the run, he won't be able to stop us from sieging all his shit. Well, let me split up a bit. That's too many people standing in one tile. We've already lost about 40k manpower. Ugh. What the hell do we have dudes just standing over there for? Um... And Denmark still has... 50... 52,000 guys just chilling in northern Italy. What are you doing, Denmark? Go home! You're drunk! He's 52,000 guys just chilling in northern Italy for no reason. For no reasons. Oh, leave my cardinal alone, Spain. It's my cardinal. My cardinal. Venice has come a long way, that's true. We've made a whole hell of a lot of progress. Fighting France so many times. Fighting Spain. Fighting the Ottomans again and again and again and again. Oh, oh, look at this. The sneaky bastards. Look at this. He's going to try to stop me in Hadramut. Look at this shit. Well, hopefully we can get down there in quick fashion. I think we'll be okay. Ow, we're taking a lot of losses, though. Ow. Uh, yeah. Help out over there. Just follow the coastline so you don't take as much attrition. Where's my army? There you are. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Ow. 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 Oh my god. Morale is fine, but the numbers... Oof. Okay, he's running to Aden. He's running to my land. Okay. This land is your land. This land is my land. Come on, finish him up. Make him cry uncle. Come on. There you go. Right. So is that enough to vassalize you? It should be. No. But see, look, the cost of vassalize has gone up from 98 to 100%. So that means either he got a little bit of base tax up or he built a few buildings in those six years that we are at peace. So it's a good thing we went to war right now and not, you know, like next year. Because he could have built some more stuff to make the cost of Vassalize go up. And once it goes over 100, it'll never come down. So, might as well do it while you can. We converted Aden. Nice. Can we core it? No, we can't core it while we're at war, can we? Oh yeah, we can Sweet. And uh, he has evaded us. He is a, he's a military genius, and he has evaded us. All right, all right, all right. All right, come on. Come on, time to vassalize. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, fail siege. Stop fail sieging. Get out of the desert, it's no place for civilized people. Who said Venice was civilized? Just because we're Western tech doesn't mean we're civilized. We still beat our women over the heads with clubs when we want to have sex with them. Austria is the emperor again? Whoa, 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 whoa. what? France is the emperor? It said Austria is the emperor, and then it popped up France is the emperor. Event, the emperor is dead in Austria. 
The whole Roman Empire has elected Louis the Sixteenth of France as what the fuck? Really? Really? You are shitting me. You are fucking shitting me. Holy crap. That could be a big problem. That could be a real big problem. Um... Okay, well, let's let's vassalize Syria. Wow. <sighs> okay. We're just gonna sell them. We can't. We're at war. I'm just gonna sell them Aleppo. But we're at war. Um, come down here to Libya. France is the emperor. I thought for sure it said Austria has been re-elected. I guess it was some special event saying the um, the emperor is dead. Wow. Now here you go. 9th of January. Archduke Ferdinand IV von Habsburg rose to the throne of Austria. The Holy Roman Empire has selected Ferdinand IV from Austria as emperor. Austria changed their form of government to bureaucratic despotism. Oh my goodness, they changed away from monarchy so they can no longer be the emperor. That means they had to re they had to select someone else. So it was just a spur of the moment thing. They said, "Okay guys, Austria is no longer a kingdom. Who do you want now?" And they had two people vote for the Netherlands, and they had two people vote for the Palatinate, and they had two people vote for France. Holy shit. France is the emperor. Wow. Wow. No, we're, we're in the we're in the HRE. We just can't vote. Uh, we're not an elector, and uh, we can't be emperor because we're not a we're not a kingdom. Yeah, the Holy French Empire. No shit. This is Francia now. <laughs> Welcome to Francia. My God, the horror. I'm not sure if this is a good or a bad thing. This is definitely a thing, though. Yeah, France just became the emperor. I, I have no words. I'm not even sure what to what to think about that. That's so weird. Well, we can't kissy kissy them because we already have. We're at plus 88 on relations. It's the best we can do, and. Um, they still hate us. And we hate them so much. Our country hates the fuck out of them. Our country just wants to murder them all day long, every day. Uh, we could try setting enemy of enemy, maybe with Burgundy. Why don't we do that temporarily? Let's throw enemy of enemy Burgundy and see if we can't get them to like us a bit. We'll take them out just, just for now. Because what else are we going to do, right? There we go. That will help a bit. I don't even know what to say to that. That's so weird. Why would Austria switch to a republic while they are the emperor? That doesn't even make sense. Let's just say that, for shits and giggles, you are Archduke Ferdinand IV. Yeah, there's an HRE map mode. There it is. France is the leader. So let's say for a minute that you are Archduke Ferdinand IV. You rise to the throne in Austria. You get elected as the HRE leader. So you are now not only the Archduke of Austria, you are also the Holy Roman Emperor. And on the same day, you say, no, 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 this is all foolish. We shall be a republic. And you give the crown to France. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh, boundary dispute on France. Great, that's what I need. I need to piss off France right now. Nope, not gonna do that. <laughs> We're gonna take the, the stability hit. Now is not the time to piss off France. Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. Hey, new Cardinal from Venice. Nice. So we're up to four out of the seven Cardinals now. And there goes your military. Now what, Oman? Now what? Get out of there, Spain. That shit's mine, yo. Shit's mine, dog. They're called dibs and shit. <sighs> so we're over by two now. But it's worth it to have vassals, right? And besides, we're just gonna annex Syria, like, right away. They don't, they're not gonna stay as a vassal. We're just gonna hold them for ten years and then annex them. Not a problem. The Mamluks we can probably keep for a little while. We don't have to, though. We could just annex them right now. Hmm. Not sure. I do need to get the Ottomans out of the coalition, though. Coalition is painful. Could we do enemy of enemy, maybe? If we put Lithuania as an enemy... We'll take the Ottomans out temporarily and just put Lithuania in there. Sorry, Lithuania. I don't really think of you as an enemy. There you go. That'll help. Uh, yeah, Socotra. But we don't have any boats, so that'll just have to stay there. 99% is good enough anyway. We can't vassalize them on this war anyway, because it's 200 and something percent. 218% to vassal them. So this war is just to make them give me some land like this. Be like, yo, dog. I'm all up in your grill. That's 104. Damn it. Huh. Hmm. And keep leaving. Well, well. Crap. It doesn't really matter that much, because we're going to have to do two more wars to vassalize them anyway. Now, who's this going to piss off? It's going to be negative 221 versus Oman. So, they're, they're a little upset. But, that's okay. No one else is going to give a damn, so there you go. Alright, look at that Venice. Woo! So, how much does it cost a core? Pretty much nothing. So, just core it. So cheap, because the land is worthless. Alright. Uh, you guys can just stay there. You guys can group up and come down here or something. Just put you on Hunt Rebels. Whatever. And the only people that cared were Oman and the Ottomans. And both of them hate us anyway, so that's fine, right? Uh, we could pick Enemy of Enemy, like Persia or something. We do have room for another enemy. Persia. Done. But we need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen. You have been you. Let me go ahead and... do. I, should I sell this bag or should I just core this? I guess we'll just keep it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.